Now, thousands of Gambians today welcomed President Adama Barrow back to the country. President Barrow was forced to leave the country following former President Yaya Jame's refusal to step down. Meanwhile, the West African country, which relies primarily on tourism, agriculture and remittances inflows, is set to receive significant budgetary aid from the European Union. Mustafa Enjoy, CEO of TAP Homes, joins us from Abuja for an outlook on the Gambian economy this year. Thank you so much, Mustafa, for taking the time out to join us. Thank you, Esther. Well, no doubt a political victory for President uh, Adama Barrow as he returns home today. But of course, uh, he still has to face a number of economic headwinds as he tries to get the economy back on track. There's talk of a, a huge budget deficit. Uh, uh, of course, uh, we've, we've heard of fiscal slippages in the last couple of years. We've heard of the huge urbanization that has taken place. But on the good side, we've heard about uh, 33 million euros uh, in budgetary aid that will come very soon from the European Union. But in your opinion, on which would you like to see the president start? Thank you very much. I mean, as, as an economy operator, I mean, and I will focus on the economy, um, uh, we would like to see the president um, focus on capacity building, I mean, uh, structural reforms, and also boosting up the economy in general. I mean, there's been a lot of hope, I mean, since this new government came to place. And uh, what Gambians are looking for is for him to spearhead and fast track the economy. So we'll see a, a boost of economic development in our small and tiny country. But well, would you say that, that there well or there have been in the last couple of years well articulated uh, government policies, especially fiscal policies? Uh, you've talked about capacity building. We know that uh, uh, the population in the urban areas is almost, at least total population of Ghana, almost 50% of that are already in the urban areas and that planning is quite poor. And it, it would just uh, uh, seem that there are so many moving parts when it comes to the Gambian economy. Uh, would you say that uh, he would have to also properly articulate these policies? Yes, he will. I mean, uh, in the past regime, I mean, there's been policies, but there's one thing to have a policy in place, but it's another thing to implement it. I mean, we, have, we understand from the new government that they're going to set up a think tank you know, who's going to look at different areas, but still focusing on the economy, we expect that um, uh, they will put in place a policy that is uh, um, that they will implement in the shortest possible time. So uh, this again will alleviate um, um, a lot of um, um, economic development. Still on those policies, what, uh, in what areas would you like him to focus on to achieve some quick wins? I know that uh, Ghana re Gambia relies heavily on the tourism and agriculture sectors. Uh, tourism, obviously, um, uh, but also focusing on the SMEs. Um, uh, Gambia has a very big um, uh, informal sector. They need to look at this. Uh, they, need to, they need to promote the informal sector. Incentives need to be put in place where indigents will take the economy of the country in their own hands. Um, uh, in the past years, I mean, the economy of the country were not in the hands of Gambians. So there are quite a number of um, able Gambians who are com competent enough to take ownership of the economy of this country. And we expect that this country, the, the, the new government will, will give the right incentives and pump this mon money into areas where you know, indigenous Gambians will take, take charge of their economy to the best of their interest. I'm just going to also m mention the private sector. What role would you like to see the private sector play? Well, the private sector, um, again, um, obviously, is the, is, the, is the engine of growth of any developing country. And uh, it's quite wide. Um, uh, the private sector will obviously engage in various type of businesses. And um, we, as the government will create the, en the environment for people to strive in business, the private sector will, will, will get in in their different areas and play an effective role. You are in the real estate sector. Tell us about uh, that for this year in terms of what your expectations are, uh, the kind of growth that you would like to see for the sector this year. Well, we would like to see reform in, in the land act um, so that land is accessible and also affordable. So, and then also governments will put in policies where um, operators, both in the public and the private sector, I mean, can engage in making houses affordable to the general populace be it those in the civil service or in the private sector. There's a huge demand of housing in, in, in the Gambia, like any African country, and uh, there's the need to put in place 
the right policies so incentives can be given to developers and also that you know uh, housing can be made affordable affordability i think is the key word and there's a huge demand for housing for gambians so uh, i know that i was just reading a report this morning uh, by the world bank talking about the population of ghana two million uh, at the moment but there's also been a, a mass exodus if you will of gambians over the years of course because of the political and economic situation in the country uh, do you think this will change this year? Do you think that now that there's a new president and the promises is made, do you think that will make those uh, who perhaps have plans to leave, uh, do you think that will make them stay this time? Well, already it has started changing. I mean, Gambians abroad are coming back in their numbers. Now, if you look at this, um, this area where Gambians, there was a huge exodus, a, big, a huge um, brain drain of Gambians, a big, huge inflight of, of of, of economic operators, um, a big brain drain. Um, what it has done um, uh, for, for those of us uh, that, that did this um, was that we have developed our skills, um, uh, we have developed our capacity. There's a huge intellectual capacity of Gambians who are living abroad, who has a very positive um, um, commitment to come back home and work hand in glove with the, with the borough government to develop our, our, our country. So I think this, will, this is going to change. You're not going to see any more Gambians leaving the shores of Gambia and going abroad. But we're going to see Gambians who are very well committed and highly trained at every level to come back, to work together with this government to develop the, our, our, our country. Okay, Mustafa, thank you so much for sharing that with us. So we appreciate your time. Mustafa Njai, CEO of Taf Homes, talking about the outlook for the Gamb Gambian economy. This